everyone, it's Missy. This is the start of the 2021 gardening season. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try starting my onions. Um, last year with the COVID pandemic, a lot of the gardening supplies and seeds were out of stock when I went to the store. Um, so that just made me rethink a little bit about my gardening technique. I really like onions and I depend a lot on suppliers for this onion sets. And this is something that I really need to learn how to do myself by seed. So if I cannot find onion sets like last year, I could still grow onions in my garden. Another thing too is that I noticed even this year, they're not stocking the gardening section at my stores at least as quickly as in years past. And I decided to try something else as well. A lot of you, if you've watched my videos in the past, will know that I use peat pots for a lot of my seed starting from year to year. Peat pots aren't exactly sustainable, and I know some people have even mentioned that they're not environmentally friendly as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my seed starting pots out of old newspaper. Um, basically, I'm raiding the recycling center of their newspapers, and I am choosing the actual paper paper. I'm not choosing the glossy um, newspaper that you sometimes find with the ads. Um, so I will show you how I folded that to make a seed starting pot and this pot is about oh I want to say three inches by three inches. I have a ruler over here so I should just measure it. Yeah it was right three inches and then it should be about three and a half inches deep and it is. So that is a great size to start a lot of things such as tomatoes and peppers. And then I just have a commercial seed starting mix that I had purchased. Um, I just use, I think it's miracle Grow seed starting potty mix is what's in there. Um, but any commercially provided seed starting mix is great. Get as high a quality as you can. Um, you can make your own and I'm sure there's recipes if you Google that as well. And then for the onions, this that I'm going to grow this year, so I grew Walla Walla last year, I really liked them. And this is called Candy Hybrid Onions. I like on the bottom it says generic packaging due to high volume of orders. I was able to purchase one of these um, because they were low stock. So um, I did purchase them on Amazon. Uh, Isla's Garden Seed Company is a third party on there. Um, I'm not linking it below because as of the time I'm making this video, they are out of stock and it doesn't, they don't know if they will be restocked, but you can Google this or plug it into Amazon search and you could probably come up with something similar. And let's get uh, some newspaper so we can make the pot. I'm going to clear a space here. So again, just your typical newspaper. If you opened it up completely, you know, it would be the full page. So I'm taking that full page, you know, it's folded in half and then you fold it again. You want to make sure that your fold line is up on top. And now we're going to fold it like a paper airplane. As you can see, I've already kind of started doing that. You just bring your points down to the middle. So they line up. If you want to, you could fold this in half so you have a guideline first. And then fold the points down like so. So it looks like you're starting to fold a paper airplane. Just keep that in mind. Then the reason why we wanted to fold up on top is we're going to take the top half piece of the paper and we're going to fold that end up to where these points meet. Give it a good crease and then we're going to take this same half and we're going to fold it up and over the points of the triangle just like that so then you have it almost looks like um, a hat or a boat up on top once you have that folded you're going to turn the whole works upside down making sure to keep the airplane point i'm going to call it up on top and now we're going to take the sides and we're going to fold this side so it's to that middle crease. And that may mean that you're going to fold the triangle portion a little bit. I 
Okay. So that's what it should look like after that step. Now we're gonna bring the bottom of this page up to where the crease is right here. So just fold it up. And then we're gonna take like we did on the first side and we're just gonna fold this crease up to the top. What should have happened is there's, um, so these sides are a little bit loose. What we can do is you can open up what you just folded and we're gonna take this and tuck it into the sides here to secure everything. So kind of manipulate it a little bit. I'm gonna do the other side. A little tricky. And this is if you creased it really well, it should pop in place no problem. I was kind of going fast there. There we go. So what you should have is a nice open pocket and this is our actual pot. But to get this bottom part to lay flat, we're just going to do some more creasing. So you want to take your point and you want it to bend down towards this point here. So we're folding this over like this. So it's more or less in a trapezoid type shape. And you want to crease this very well and then open it back up. Now we're gonna take this point and bring it down here. So we're gonna fold over. Increase this well. And open it back up. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's crease marks to make like a diamond shape. And that's kind of what you want. So what we can do now is open up our pocket. And it's supposed to turn into a square. And when I fill the pot with soil it seems to hold okay the bottom is a little bit more flimsy on this and I mean it it's fairly sturdy this is going to compost very well in the garden and the bottom being thinner I'm hoping the roots will be able to penetrate through the newspaper a lot better than the sides are actually pretty thick but you need the side walls to be thick so that way it's nice and sturdy and can hold its shape so that's basically what the pot looks like. And then if I bring back, so I'd already filled this one with the soil. And as you can see, I mean, it's nice and sturdy. It keeps this nice square shape. Um, I, I'm pretty happy with that. And then I just have my onion seed. And to show you what the candy onion seed looks like, just dump some out into my hand. So they're really small black seeds. And I'm just gonna plant, so about 20 seeds, and I'm just gonna scatter them around the top. The reason why is because I'm actually gonna pull these apart. They're gonna be like bunching when they grow, which is fine because when you grow onions, you want to start them, you can start them close together, but then I'm going to pull them all apart and plant, replant them out in the garden when they are, oh, let's see if I can show you, when they look like about green onions. So onions, they can be in a compact growing area when they first start out. 
And then when I bought my Walla Wallas, they were about like this in a bunch. And then I planted them uh, three to four inches apart out in the garden. And then that's when they grow their bulb. So we'll be okay there. And then I just have some extra seed starting mix to dump on top. And then I'll just water this in. Put it in my little greenhouse. You guys have seen or can see my greenhouse. It's um, on another video from last year when I started seeds. And I'll give it a good watering and we'll be good to go. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching everyone. Bye.